Hey, I want to address a common issue where people are using media library or other widgets. And what they want to try and do is show images and videos like side by side in a gallery. And the trouble is, though, that if you go to, say, media library like here, or the media carousel even, and you drop it in, you can go in and start to modify your items. So item one, I'm going to make this be a, let's just go for this image over here. Don't know why I've got that there. Um, and then for item number two, instead of an image, we're going to put in a video. Now, what you can do is put in a video link, like a YouTube one. So let's drop that in there. Okay, so now what we have is a video as well playing. Now, let me just hit update for a moment. I'm not going to do all of them, right? And we're just going to go back again, and we're going to hit preview changes and just see how this looks. Well, you've got the video there, but it's not currently playing until you do this, which is fine in a way if that's what you want. but in a way, that isn't actually what I want. I want it to start playing just kind of within there. I've got to keep getting rid of this, otherwise you're going to hear my sound all the time. Right, let's just go back over to the page. So we have a problem whereby you have the, in, the video, but then as soon as you hit it, it starts to play on the full screen. I only want it to play within that little window over there. So let me just show you something that you could do, okay? So in fact, before we do that, let's just go to additional options, and let me just show you here these are the options for the slider in effect. The other downside to using this approach is that it is a slider. It's not like a mosaic effect or however we wanted to display our videos and images. Does that make sense? It's just a slider. So let me now completely get rid of this and show you another way that you could actually do things. Now, the way I'm going to do it isn't going to work for everyone, but if you open your mind to doing it like this, it can be really versatile. Uh, if you're using Flexbox containers, it's even easier because you just do custom width. But if you're doing it within section and column, all you've got to do really is create a section. Just have one column. I'm not bothering with the margins and padding or the height or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to drop in a image. Right, let's just go back for that same image we had before, like that one there. In fact, we won't go for that image because it's a slightly not a great size. Let's go for this one here, okay? I'm going to go to style and I'm just going to set this one to be a uh, 250 in width, something like that. Okay. You would make it as big and small as you want it to be. I'm now going to go over to advanced and I'm going to set the width of this to be custom. Now, as soon as you do that, it shoots over to the left. Okay. Um, and until we go to this column here and we decide, sorry, let me go back to the column, column. There we go. When we do the horizontal line, is it going to be start, which is what it is, center? Is it going to go at the end? So it goes to the end. Or are you going to have loads of item in here and you're going to have a space between going on? Now, the good thing to do, though, whenever you do this, is kind of decide what is the exact width of what you're building here. So I'm going to go with a boxed width of, we're going to have 250, 250, 250, which will be 750, plus 10 in between. So we're going to go with 770 like that. Okay, that's what we're going to do at the moment. And I'm just going to go back over to my column. And I'm going to set this to be space between. All right, so you'll have your items. You should have 10 pixels in between. Let me now just duplicate this. So now we've got two images. Let's just very quickly modify this image. And we'll go for this image over here. Okay, so now we've got two nice images. Then I'm going to go and add in a video. Now, at the moment, when I drop in the video, it will go kind of like in between. If you're careful with your placement, you will get it in between the images. If you're struggling to do that, go to Navigator over here and just make sure you put your image where you need it to be. Right. Let's now go to this image and I'm now going to replace this with the link to the video that I was going to place in before. We will now, uh, will it auto play? Probably not. Will it be mute? You decide, is it going to loop? Player controls. You start to decide how exactly you're going to make it look. Now, if I go over to style, at the moment, this is a 619 approach uh, size, which I am totally fine with. Now, I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to set this to be a custom width. And I'm going to go to pixel and I'm going to set this to be 250. And there we go. Can you see what's happened now? So by making this video be a 250 pixel, we now have that kind of layout. And if I start to hit play now, it's going to play there. Now, the beauty about this approach is that you can manipulate and have it looking exactly how you want. So I am going to now make a duplicate of this. And what will happen is it will actually go to the item below now. 
I'm also going to um, uh, go over here and I'm going to give this about, uh, we're going to give it some margin of about 10 from the top. This so we get a bit of spacing. I could, if I want, just go over here now, go to the width of this and make this be uh, 500 if I so want. In fact, it's got to be a bit more than 500 because of the 10 pixel spacing we got in the, in between. Let's make that 5, 10 like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this image, which has now gone stupendously big. I'm going to swap it back out for this tall image that we had over here. Okay. I'm going to set the size of this to be uh, 250 in width. And you can already see what it's doing. In fact, I'm just going to go over here to this image and I'm going to make this one be uh, 290 in height like that. And we're going to make it a cover. And I'm going to make this image be 290 as well. There we go. So what we now have is a completely bespoke effect or look, and you could start to play around with it. It's even easier in Flexbox Container, I must stress that. Flexbox Container is super, super easy. But if you imagine now, you could have another video down here, and the video will play as per what you want. And these images, if you want to make them be light box, so when you click on it, it opens up, you just got to go over here to your image, go to your content, and you're going to say, will it open a media file, for instance, or not? Lightbox. Let's just update that. You know what's going to happen. If we just preview this now, when you open it, you're going to get that approach like that there. But you've got the video. And if you want to go full screen, you can go full screen. But you now have a bit more control over how it looks and how it works. I just love using custom whips. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.